Hi, this is Julieta Yang Orfiano. Welcome to my video. If this is your first time on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe so I can notify you if I have a new video. This is the continuation of part 5 about the cash and cash equivalents. I discuss in part 5 about the petty cash fund. Just click above or the link below this video to watch part 5. In this video, I am going to discuss about the cash short and over. Cash short and over. Cash short and over is a nominal account that is debited for shortages and credited for overages in the petty cash fund. Such shortages and overages usually result from errors in making change or failure to obtain receipts for very small amounts. In addition, receipts may have been written for an incorrect account or money from the fund may have been lost or stolen. A debit balance in cash short and over account at the end of the period should be reported as a miscellaneous expense while a credit balance is reported as a miscellaneous revenue. However, a material cash shortage resulting from a cost such as theft should be charged to a receivable account if it is probable that the shortage is to be recovered. For internal control purposes, a significant amount of cash shortage in the petty cash fund should be properly documented. A petty cash voucher should be prepared covering the shortage and the same should be submitted to the general cashier together with the other paid petty cash vouchers for reimbursement. On the other hand, cash items representing cash overage should be taken out of the petty cash fund and should be deposited to the general cash account of the company to maintain the petty cash fund account at its impressed balance. Thus, the deposit of the cash overage is taken up by a debit to cash in bank and a credit to miscellaneous income. To document the existence of material cash overage, an official receipt may be prepared by the company. To illustrate, assume that the petty cash fund was originally established at 10,000 pesos on December 1, 2009. To record this transaction, the entry is debit petty cash fund for 10,000 pesos and credit cash in bank for 10,000 pesos. From December 1st through December 20, payments were made from petty cash fund for the following items. Transportation for 2,300 pesos, representation expenses for 3,400 pesos, office supplies for 4,200 pesos. No entry is taken up to record the said payments. On December 21st, petty cash vouchers were submitted to request reimbursement for the said expenditures. A check for 9,900 pesos was issued to replenish the petty cash fund. The entry for the replenishment is debit transportation expense for 2,300 pesos, debit representation expense for 3,400 pesos, debit office supplies expense for 4,200 pesos, and credit cash in bank for 9,900 pesos. On December 31st, no replenishment of the petty cash fund is made. A count of the fund revealed the following composition. Bills and coins for 2,200 pesos. Petty cash vouchers for transportation, 1,500 pesos. Office supplies, 2,500 pesos. An employee advance, 3,000 pesos. And representation for 720 pesos. The total of bills and coins and paid vouchers counted, which is 9,920, 
is less than the amount of impressed petty cash balance of 10,000 pesos. Thus, the difference of 80 pesos is missing cash, which is reported as cash shortage. The adjusting entry on December 31st to remove the non-cash items from the petty cash fund and to show the correct amount of petty cash fund on the balance sheet is debit transportation expense for 1,500 pesos, debit office supplies expense for 2,500 pesos, debit advance to employees 3,000 pesos, debit representation expense for 720 pesos, debit cash short or over for 80 pesos, and credit petty cash fund for 7,800 pesos. After the adjusting entry, the petty cash fund is brought to its correct balance of 2,200 pesos, representing the actual cash items in the petty cash fund on the balance sheet date. Assume instead that the following was the composition of the fund on December 31st. Bills and coins for 2,400 pesos, Petty cash vouchers for transportation 1,500 pesos, office supplies for 2,500 pesos, an employee advance for 3,000 pesos, and representation for 720 pesos. The total of the bills and coins and paid petty cash vouchers of 10,120 pesos exceeds the amount of the impressed petty cash balance of 10,000 pesos. This excess of the items counted over the petty cash fund balance is to be recorded as cash overage or miscellaneous income. The adjusting entry on December 31st is debit transportation expense for 1,500 pesos, debit office supplies expense for 2,500 pesos, debit advances to employees 3,000 pesos. Debit representation expense for 720 pesos and credit petty cash fund for 7,720 pesos. Proper internal control dictates that the amount of cash representing the average of 120 pesos be taken out of the fund for deposit to the general cash account of the company. This would bring the remaining balance of bills and coins equal to 2,280 pesos. 2,400 pesos minus 120 cash average. The entry for the deposit of cash average is debit cash in bank for 120 pesos and credit miscellaneous income or cash average for 120 pesos. After the deposit of the cash average, the total composition of the fund would be 10,000 pesos, 2,280 pesos bills and coins, and paid petty cash vouchers of 7,720 pesos, which is the amount at which the petty cash fund is originally established. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something from this video. I did part 7 and continuation of this video wherein I discuss in part 7 about the reconciliation of bank balances. Just click above or the link below this video to watch part 7. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my channel so I can notify you if I have a new video. Once again, this is Julieta Yang Orfiano. See you on my next video.